Ryan. How are you doing? Mm -hmm. Okay, Doctor. <laughs> I'm Dr. Sandry. It's nice to meet you. I'm the staff physician. Um, I heard a little bit about you, and I know that you were um, told in the emergency room a little bit about why you were brought into the hospital. Um, you have a new diagnosis of something called diabetes. Um, a lot of people are familiar with diabetes, but you have a particularly severe case of diabetes right now. You have something called diabetic ketoacidosis, or DKA. Okay. And what that means is that you've been so sick over the last several days, vomiting, not able to keep food or fluid down, um, that the acid level in your blood has actually gone, left, gone up. And that's where that diabetic ketoacidosis comes from. Okay. Um, so whenever someone ends up with DKA or diabetic ketoacidosis, they usually end up in the hospital because they're very sick, okay? And so um, the good news is you're at the right place and we're going to be getting you better, all right? So I want to just talk to you a little bit about some of the things that we're going to be doing for you while you're here, okay? And then I want to make sure you understand what we're going to be doing before I leave, all right? Okay. So first things first, we're going to be doing IV fluids and we're going to be doing a lot of IV fluids, all right? Because you need rehydration because you're fairly dehydrated. Um, and then second, we're going to be doing a lot of blood draws over the next 12 to 24 hours, okay? Because we need to monitor that acid level in your blood, and we want to make sure that it's getting better, okay? And then third, you're not going to be able to eat or drink anything until we make sure that that acid level normalizes, okay? Or it goes back to where it's supposed to be, okay? Um, so the fluid that you're going to be getting is all going to be through your IV, nothing by mouth, okay? Um, and then fourth, we're going to be giving you medicines and checking your blood sugar to make sure your blood sugar stays controlled while you're in here, okay? So I want you to kind of go over those four things um, and tell me what you understand about those and then plan over the next 12 to 24 hours. Okay. Um, you said that uh, I have diabetes, but it's real bad. Mm -hmm. real, what, and there's like acid in my blood. That's correct, yes. Um, you said that I'm going to be in the hospital for at least a, a 24 hours or so around there. It, I'm not supposed to eat or drink anything, but you're going to put fluids through the IV. Yeah. And, um, and I'll be getting medicine to, to make things better. And I think you said they'll be checking my blood uh, every now and then. Right, and, and actually they're going to be doing checking your blood or doing blood draws fairly frequently for the first 12 to 24 hours. And when I said, you, when you said you, you'll be in the hospital at least 24 hours, that's the bare minimum. My assumption is you'll be here for at least two to three days, okay? okay. It'll take at least 24 hours to get your blood levels normalized, in, both on, with your sugar and those acid levels, okay? And okay. then my assumption is over the next couple of days, we'll figure out what kind of medication regimen you'll need to go home on, okay? Because that's going to be really important. We wouldn't want and get you better and then just send you home without figuring out what you're going to need at home because otherwise you'd end up right back here okay i don't want that exactly yeah so and the other thing is um when you said that you know uh we'll be giving you medications that'll make everything better i want you to understand what those medications are the medication is um one that will lower your blood sugar which is the insulin okay a lot of people have heard of insulin um but haven't ever received it before which is kind of like you, you've probably heard of it, um, but don't really know exactly how it works. Um, but the nurses are gonna be coming in and checking your blood sugars, and then also begin, gonna be giving you insulin, which is that medicine to help lower your blood sugar. But everything else you, you got exactly right, okay? What questions do you have? When they take my blood, will they, will they be coming in in the middle of the night and maybe waking me up? Yes, they will, yeah. So I want you to try to be as patient as you can with the nurses because they're just following orders from us. And it's actually really important that we do those frequently until that your blood levels start to normalize, okay? And they may normalize faster than the 24 hours, in which case we can start to decrease how often we're drawing blood from you. Okay. Okay? Okay. And then when you said you can't have anything to eat or drink, I, that's a really important thing to know. Um, you can have, uh, there's little sponge sticks that you can dip in water and, and rub across your tongue and mouth and lips if those get dry. But it's really important until we tell you, you that you can have a meal or eat and drink something that you don't do that, okay? Okay. All right. Okay. Do you have any other questions? Uh, do you think this will help me to feel better? Oh, I suspect that you'll be feeling much better within the next 12 to 24 hours for sure. 
Okay. Okay. Well, thank you, Doctor. All right. You're very welcome. And we're here 24 7 if you have any questions or need anything, okay? Okay. All right. It was good to meet you, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. -bye. Bye.